Hey guys, it's Chuck from Brady Adventures, and we're finally installing our Alu Cab Shadow On on our 100 Series Land Cruiser, aka Bernard. This is part one and includes the fitting of the brackets to the front runner roof rack. Keep an eye out for our upcoming videos where we will attach the case to the awning, mount it to the vehicle, and we'll also fit the tensioning strap, which keeps the awning secure. What's up, guys? This is Chuck from Brady Adventures. And I have some serious allergies going down. But I'm getting ready to make this Alu Cab Shadow On installation happen. I have been figuring out where all these brackets line up, exactly how this is going to work, um, and cussing the fact that Alu Cab does not come with instructions. It comes with a nice pile of parts that you got to kind of figure out. Now, I'm done complaining about Alu Cab, at least with the shadow on, because I was poking around trying to figure out a few things that were going to be a little challenging. I wasn't sure exactly how you were supposed to do it, and I found instructions for the strap, which I was having a little trouble figuring out exactly how to do that. The awning bag, which I knew how I was going to do that, but found some additional information in here. It's going to be helpful in doing that correctly, and I found some instructions on how to mount the actual brackets for the front runner roof rack. Gonna fully read through these and make sure I'm good to go. This time I'm not throwing the instructions away. Okay guys, I'm not sure that the video itself explained the problem that I was having with these brackets. Decided to do a little mock-up here, very rudimentary, so bear with me. Hopefully this will help you understand exactly what I did and why I did. This is a little mock-up of the roof rack and the load bars across the rack and this is the rail that holds those bars. Each rail it has a hole that it's attached to and in between each rail there's an extra hole. This is the front bracket for the shadow on and it perfectly lines up with these holes and you can use one hole from a slat and one hole that isn't being used to mount this. And you'd have to still drill them out but both the bolts would hold this here. You do not have any ability to adjust the rear. There's four bolts that hold, this is the awning, main awning bracket, and these four bolts hold it to the back. When you line that up, at least on mine, the factory holes where this bracket will mount to didn't line up right. So when I used the hole where the slat was and the next hole down, this bracket lined up just three eighths of an inch or so away from the factory holes. And I wasn't really comfortable drilling holes so close to these. I realized it would just fit in between two rails. And then I actually was able to drill some holes in the frame of the awning itself. And they were well away, a little bit more than an inch away from any of the factory holes. For this front bracket right here, you're gonna go through two long bolts you're gonna go through here and here so you can move that along and then this is gonna line up pretty perfectly within you know enough where you can move this back and forth to fit the front of the awning on the side where your rail isn't you're just gonna have to drill through a thin piece of uh, aluminum and then on this side you're gonna have to drill through the aluminum and this rail a little bit. Problem is there is a nut in here, so what I need to do is get this rail out to be able to drill through. That is what the instructions are saying, and there's the only way to get through there is to drill through that whole thing. I'm pretty sure the bolt is the same size as this nut, so hopefully what I can do is drill through here, and then it'll go straight through this nut and through that hole. So I'm gonna use these two holes. Back is a little bit different. We're gonna have two bolts going into here with just the nut up in here and not actually going all the way through. Um, we've got this one that's just gonna use the, the rail here to tighten that down and then these two in the back are gonna go all the way through uh, for these long bolts. I'm gonna double check the length of this. So I measured from here to where I actually wanna mount the front bracket. Right, so if we make this as short as possible. And they're still doing the same back? Yeah, back holes. So 1367 and 1316. Let's try this one more time. With our first measurements we didn't quite do right, so thank goodness I came back and measured again. The way that they tell you to do it, we'll use one of these on the rail. I guess it's just sort of an approximate and maybe they expect you to drill through the rail at a different spot but there's already holes in here and it would seem that you'd be able to mount right up to those. Depending on how I move things around I could get it in between a quarter of an inch and three-eighths off. The back hole in here? Yep. Okay, the middle? 
and so that's 67 and 5 eighths. That doesn't, it's not what I had before. I don't know why we're so different here. I was a little worried about drilling the holes so close to the other hole. So what I've decided to do is put this directly in between these rails and the holes that I drill should just fit inside of here and then the hole will be offset and it'll give me a little more than an inch away from the other hole so I have to drill another set of holes in the awning frame. I'm gonna go ahead and get this drilled and mounted and then I'm gonna drill and mount the back bracket. I'll get exact measurements and then we will uh, transfer those down to the awning and drill the holes in the awning frame. I got it pretty good. Just clip the edge of that, but that shouldn't cause any issues. Okay, this is gonna work. Now I will drill the second hole. Okay, that went okay. I don't like what I did here. I definitely took some off there. I think that's probably okay. At least I got that hole bit. So let's see. Fitting nicely. Mm -hmm. A bit more before. What was that? Should have probably rolled up all these windows too. Ah, can you hear me that, please? Still got a little wiggle room, that's nice. Decided to drill holes in the off set of this because it wasn't lining up. So we're gonna have to drill two holes in this to get it lined up right. So they're gonna have to be pretty, pretty close. This, now I'm going to drill this one, get this one all tight, and then we'll see what our range is here. We'll try to get it in the middle. It's funny, so the directions show long bolts going into here, <laughs> which doesn't actually happen. Um, because there's nothing on the other side what you do is you actually put a nut in here here on the bottom you've got the regular bolt that goes up into the rear cross member all I have to do is take this corner piece off to get the nuts and slid into here for these two and drill these two holes these nuts are gonna slide in here The real bitch is gonna be lining these up. You can see how those are in there. So you can pull those up tight in there. A little bit snug just to mark the holes. That lined up, so I'm just gonna hit this with the drill and mark it, and then I'll take this back off and drill it the rest of the way out. really tight, but we're good. I'm gonna snug this up and take my measurements. All right, drilling is done. That is super, super tight. Feel pretty, pretty confident in that. I don't even have the nuts on these, but this is holding up really good. I'm going to tighten this guy down and I'm gonna to try to hit him right in the middle of my wiggle room here. So that way I'll have a little play back and forth if I'm off by anything. On to drilling the frame of the awning down here. Here, you wanna take 
some real accurate measurements with me. Back up to the no, go to the top. Back to the bottom. Seventy and four. Make sure that I do not ruin anything. Please give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Leave us any questions you have in the comments below and keep an eye out for those upcoming videos. Thanks for watching Brady Adventures.